Hello everybody and welcome back to Spin Tires. We're now going to be alternating between this and RC Monday. So we're taking turns between the two. And uh, last time we were in Spin Tires, which was quite a long time ago now, we were doing Volcano. We've done that for 1.1 hours. Um, we did do a delivery, we've done a wood delivery on there, but I would quite like to move on to a different map. So we're not always doing the same thing. And the one that sticks out to me here is either the river or the hill. They both look interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready for flood yet. It does look a bit complex. So, one of these two. I'm thinking the hill, because we haven't really had that steep terrain really yet. We have had a few hills here and there, but overall, not that much. So, uh, yeah, we've got the uh, help again, because we haven't played for so long. And uh, this is our little exploration vehicle for decloaking. And it looks like we've got a, a curtain cider, which looks very good. I can't wait to use that. But I think to begin with, we probably should just stay in this little vehicle here. Just because we do really need to decloak things first of all. So let's get used to the map. Yep, all the clo cloaking is over here. The log kiosk is here. And um, the objective is here. We will need fuel some way along the road, which is there. So what we could do is we could go along this way when we go, past the fuel, refuel there, go to the garages, unlock these three vehicles, head over to the lumber, and uh, then possibly go past this vehicle as well, and finally get to the objective. So it's going to be probably quite a long time until we finish this map. Just zooming in here. I like that you can see the terrain, how hilly it is, even on the minimap. Because usually on minimaps it's fairly flat, 2D. And Spin Tires is different because it has a 3D map. And I like that. So, yep, let's get going. We will head down probably to this cloaking point here first of all. Really today all we're going to be doing is decloaking. I don't think we'll be getting any lumber or anything. We will just do a bit of exploration work and um, go from there really. So what we want to do is head down here, down here, turn left, go down this road and we'll get to the first cloaking point there. So let's not sit around any longer, let's get going. Really we shouldn't have much problem with this little vehicle, although I always manage to get things stuck. But it looks so far that everything is on a road, so we shouldn't have any problems. We shouldn't do. We'll have to wait and see. Although, actually, no, that, that is actually rougher than I thought. We're going to have uh, all-wheel drive on. And we'll only use diff when we need to. It's fairly rough, but so far, pretty good, really. Now I'm not, not using a wheel today, not using wheels and pedals, because um, I found that the G27 is the best one to use on spin tyres, and uh, I haven't got it set up, so I'm just using the keyboard. It shouldn't be too obvious though with this game, it doesn't seem too obvious. Like in Farming Simulator you can really tell, uh, but yeah, we, we should be okay. Probably try and avoid most of the mud by going to the side of it. And there must be different ways we can go here. Yep. I'd rather not go down there really. Right, so we're on to a more solid road. We should probably turn all wheel drive off. Just when we get past here. There we go. Right, all wheel drive is off, diff lock's off. We didn't even use diff lock there. That's pretty good. Right, where are we? Right, good. We are on track. 
I was worried I'd gone the wrong way there. So if we just keep heading down here, obviously we can't see where exactly we're going yet because it's all cloaked. Uh, but it should be fairly self-explanatory. We should see the cloaking point fairly close to here. We're actually getting some speed up. Not really the kind of game I associate speed with spin tyres, but we're actually doing okay. Ah, now. This... Oh, whoa, camera angle. This point is uh, kind of off our map, so uh, we are discovering new things. I think we should probably go in there. Although, um, maybe not quite right there. I'd rather not go straight through it. Oh yes. So, um, it is looking muddier. I might just put Diffluck on, because this is looking really muddy. There is the decloaking point. They would put it at the end of a challenging part. I think we're okay though in this little vehicle because it's not too heavy. Like if we're doing that in a lorry we'll be stuck by now, definitely. Just because it's me driving. Uh, that looks okay. Good. Diffloc's really working well there. Right then, so we've got cloaking removed, which means we should now be able to see, if I remember how to use the minimap, um, yeah, we've got um, another vehicle down here, which we might go and unlock now, just because I'm not too familiar with what all the numbers are for each vehicle, so that could well be a lumber truck, because the one we have is curtain cider up here, um, we are going to have to discover other ones along the way. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll probably, possibly actually continue on here, go down here to the cloaking there, and it might be a road here, we don't know, to get to K700. So, we'll, we'll continue as we are doing, just for now, until we get stuck. I can't imagine doing this entire episode without getting stuck. Like, seriously stuck. It's looking like quite a muddy map. As usual with spin tyres, I always find it quite hard to get the balance right between my voice volume and the game volume, so hopefully it is okay for you. Another thing we're going to have to take into consideration here is the amount of fuel which we're using. We have got Diffloc and all wheel drive on at the moment, so we are consuming it quite quickly. Although, like I say, nothing compared to a lorry. Um, but we might have to refuel at some point. This is looking pretty deep. Now I know that spin ties isn't everyone's cup of tea. I know that a lot of you would prefer me to do RC Monday every week. However, um, it is quite expensive to keep doing RC Monday because it is quite expensive per model. That isn't the only reason though. It is more that I want to continue with spin ties as well. We're going to be doing RC Monday for probably, well, at least a few months, I would say. The foreseeable future. There are quite a lot of different things I'd like to cover. Different machines. So if that is your cup of tea, then uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned for all those videos. Now, it's tempting here to go fast, but we could hit a boulder and take out a lot of damage. It does seem okay though. It's actually handling really well. Oh, <laughs> almost lost it there. Right, where are we? 
Oh, we're quite close to the cloaking point. Somewhere there. How do we get there safely? I'm surprised with all these boulders that we're still yet to take damage. Okay, so that is another checkpoint. That has actually brought us very close to type B130. But that does mean crossing a river by the look of things. So not as easy as it looks. So close, but quite far. Um, so we should probably, I think, reverse. There are a lot of boulders. I'm worried we're going to take damage. So should I stick to my original plan or should I go for the new plan? I was going to head back and go for type K700 as we are going towards more cloaking. Uh, I don't really know the best thing to do. It looks like we are actually going... Yeah, this is uh, an incline going back up again. So we probably won't be able to climb back up here if we go for fuel there. So really... I think we should go across the river, go to type B130, go to this cloaking, and go from there. I don't really want to set myself any objectives too far ahead, just because they can change. The situation does change quite often in this game. Ah, oh, here's the muddy part. Oh, and you can also overturn vehicles as well, so we must be very careful about that. Yeah, that that would have been uh, good timing. It's not looking too good, actually. Because we've got some fairly steep ruts, and I'm at serious risk here of overturning. Especially with that great big tyre on top, and the crates. Oh. oh, this is scary. Obviously not scary as if I was actually there, but uh, it puts you in the moment. I feel like using the winch just because I'm not going to tip over as easily. It is really battling through here though. It's doing a very good job. And that is a fast running stream. Oh, and it's deep. It's very deep. We've taken damage. Six. Seven. It's doing okay, though. Surprisingly good. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, yes. And we've had a bit of a wash. Well, 19 points of damage there. Could be worse. It really could. And I can see our vehicle. So we've unlocked a vehicle. It's not a lumber truck. I think it's a fuel truck. It does look like it. We're going to leave it there though, because we don't actually need it yet and um, we'll move on to the next cloaking if we can somehow rummage our way through the trees and then we might be able to somehow cut across here this looks quite swampy so this next leg of the journey might finish us off it wouldn't be totally the end of it 
but it would be the end of this vehicle. Because at least we now have another vehicle to get about with. This is very handy though. So I really do not want to lose it. Oh, I've still got diff lock on. Right, so which way to go? Definitely straight ahead. We're doing very well for fuel. It's a very economical vehicle. Looking muddy. I'm tempted to just drive straight through that because I don't want to get stuck on any boulders. Let's just go. Oh. It's trying to go. We want to be bearing more to the left though. in there, I can see it. I just can't crash into any trees. Oh, better go steady through the vegetation. I don't know if we're going to fit through any of these trees. There's probably a nice tarmac road somewhere very close to here, which leads us straight to the point that I go through the undergrowth. Oh no, I've crashed. Well, I think knowing what I'm like at this game, oh, not good. I think really 116 damage isn't awful. It's not good. We can repair though if we can if we can get a repair truck, uh, which is probably up here or here. Now, as we've done that, I think this is probably a good opportunity to try and head back to uh, Type C255 and then finish off there because it's going to start going dark. We don't really want to be stuck here in the dark. Oh, look what I did to the front. So many trees being felled here. Yeah, I should have gone a long way around and then gone through here. So this isn't a direct route back, but it is the easiest route back. Where are we going? Where am I taking myself? Hmm. Um, maybe actually, here we go. We're going to change the objective again. This is why I said I didn't want to do too many objectives in one go. We're going to go up here. We're going to cut across here. Go over here. And then finish off here. Where we've got four vehicles, I think. Many, many vehicles there. The other two we should be able to get when we're doing some lumber or some fuel. It 
it's more bumpy more than anything. It's not muddy, really. There is a bit of mud. It's it's the logs in the road and and the uh, the bumpiness which is making it hard. But having seen what this has done today, this little four x four, I can't actually believe it's going to get stuck now. I've said that, and it's probably going to get really stuck, but it seems to be able to battle through everything. It seems to do a really good job. It has taken a bit of damage, it has to be said. But that's just the driver. Okay, so we're now here, and uh, we've, got, we've got quite a bit of mud in front of us, but I don't think it's a problem. If we put diff lock on and just go for it, we should be okay. It's quite deep. But yeah, I right, just go for it. <laughs> it seems to work. Put your foot to the floor. Put diff lock and all wheel drive on, battles through it. These lorries though, they do get stuck. I've uh, had some trouble with them, but then they are heavier. You would expect that. We're now losing the light. I think it's going to be okay. We best just have another look about where we are. Fine, yep. Yeah. Just keep going on this road, and we're there. Looking really swampy. Come on, climb. Just look at it go. Splatting mud up everywhere. There is nothing stopping it. <laughs> too fast. Yeah, that's a thing. Probably control the speed a bit more. I'm right, we shouldn't have too much further to go. No, we don't. I think if we just go around this corner, providing there's no hidden secrets, we should be able to get there in one piece. Boulders. I don't like boulders. We do get stuck on those. Oh yeah, boulders are a real issue. Not only do you get stuck on them, but you can actually damage the vehicle quite easily. Hang on, where am I here? Ah, it's deceptive. What's that, an office block? 
in the middle of a forest. No, I'm just going to go through the trees. Finish off with a bang. So here is one vehicle, that's a lumber one. And um, there are four, I think, somewhere. Are they over there? Quite possible. Yeah. But two in front. Tarmac Road. That's that one unlocked, and that one. Ah! Oh. 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 Huh. Yep. <clears throat> I did say finish off with a bang, and I just did, quite literally. My vehicle went bang. Well, that was a, that was a pretty bad ending, it has to be said. Uh, we're going to have to get that repaired. So next time, we're going to have to get that repaired. Oh, that is so disappointing. I did all that, and then I went and crashed into my own vehicle. <sighs> now I can understand why people don't like watching my spin tires videos. Oh, well. So, um, yeah. In two weeks' time, we will continue with this. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode until then. And um, hopefully you'll join me in the next episode as well. So... Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye for now.